Hey Pony Pals, it's Emma from Hey Pony Studios and today I'm here with my mom's um, model horse collection. Uh, just some horses that you know she has in her show string or sometimes they're not even in her show string, she just decides to leave them at home, but this is just her whole um, collection for right now. Steadily growing, um, as you can see. So let's start, start over here with like the little guys. Um, so we have, this is one of the Stablemate Club horses. I don't remember, I think it was Diesel. Yep, and Diesel came in four variations and this one is actually the Brindle and he shows pretty well as a Mustang. And then we have this guy here, and I don't remember, I actually really don't remember what the name of this particular Stablemate Club horse was, um, but this is a mold that I really like too, and his name is Casanova, this little glossy Tobiano Mornblood. Another Stablemate Club horse, and I think these were all 2016 uh, Stablemate Club horses, and this is, it would have been, I think it was Primrose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then so this one was renamed Caledonia, and she shows as a little POA. She's almost got the same color as, um, oh goodness, Forever Sage. Um, mine is called um, She's a Maniac. Um, another little stable mate, this is Little Darlin', just a regular run stable mate. I think this was from one of the um, Mystery Foal surprises from last year. And then last year's Final Stablemate Club horse, a brand new mold. This is Murado, or we call him Espejo, which is mirror in Spanish. And this little guy actually shows very well as a Criollo. I really love the color patterning on that guy. Okay, kind of moving along towards, you know, back we have Briar's old Rin Tin Tin, um, German Shepherd, and also their old Benji, who we did not know were actually Briar's until like, you know, I identify her briar. And my mom, these are two that my mom actually grew up with and played with when she was little. So they're a little bit, this one, the mold was actually made in 1977 is what that says. And let's see if Rin Tin Tin has one too. No briar mark on Rin Tin Tin. Actually, Benji doesn't have one either, but these are, they, they are officially briar dogs. Um, we have our Paloma that I painted. And this is the first run of Paloma that we did last year. And so she was a run of four on the Harper mold and we actually kept one of them. And she's got her little paintbrush. Back here is Misty and Stormy. And Misty we actually got on Shinkteague Island back in... 2008. 2008, okay. And she's actually one of the yellower versions of Misty, which is probably closer to how um, the actual Misty was. She was more Palomino um, than the actual like newer ones. And she is not, I know some people have like the four eye version, which has like a patch over here too. She's just the regular Misty. And I guess this patterning isn't even that close to the real Misty. Um, but Stormy, then we also have Stormy. We did not get Stormy on the island. We actually picked her up last year. Um, one of our, uh, she was actually from someone who gave us some consignment horses. And we decided that Misty needed a foal because she had gotten without one for so long. Then we have Calvin. Stop. Stop. We have Calvin, or we call him Torchwood. And we've been kind of trying to sell this guy, but like not really trying all that hard because this is the one that we actually like. And he was a web special from last year on the show Stock or Stallion Mold. This is another little girl who was a consignment horse that we picked up and decided to keep. And she gets shown as a boxer curly foal. We figured that because this is an older mold, it's got a lot of texture in the mold, so she actually makes a really good box for Curly. This is an older one too, not like probably exceptionally old, but this is Twilight, I believe. And she's from when I was little. I remember picking that one up. Back here is Fire Magic, who was the 2005 Briarfest Celebration Horse, and he is actually signed on the bottom in silver. And he, we had his, his pin is somewhere. I think you have his pin somewhere. 
And then um, we also have his box downstairs, which is signed to another older Briarfest one. This is Briarfest 1999, the 10th anniversary. And this is Malachi. I think that's actually, yeah, that's actually the name of the horse is Malachi. And he's on the Big Ben Wool. He's actually got like, back when Briar did the really creepy bicolor eyes, he's actually kind of got like the creepy ones that are a little bit weird looking. Not a bad horse. I'm not the biggest fan of the Big Ben Wool, but he's pretty cool. Cochise from back when Briar did the Bonanza series. Um, we did think about like getting the whole set just because my parents like grew up with Bonanza and everything, but none of us liked Chubb. And we're like, why are we going to spend our money on a mold that's so ugly? So no, <laughs> we didn't end up getting all of the Bonanza series. I kind of, kind of want to look out for like the classic sized ones because those ones are pretty nice, but not, not the traditional guys. I like to sport and we have Buck, but I'm not, Chubb will not enter my house. <laughs> this is um, a Clydesdale foal that was actually mine that I don't like, <laughs> that I really don't like. Um, and it's not that she's not cute because she's kind of cute. I don't know. I just, I'm not a fan. And uh, so I happened to uh, give her to my mom so that we could, you know, fill up our Briarfest class list. And like, I don't show this thing. I don't like this thing. Like, you can stake your claim and you can just have it. And so what does she come home from Briarfest live for, with her first time there? Is a glossy prize model with the horse that was mine that I hated that I would not take. Um, so this is then Show Me the Money or Cha Ching. And she was my mom's prize model from Briarfest uh, 2016. And she was the reserve champ model, if I, if I remember correctly. And so there's roughly, um, there's more of her made than there is my glossy prize model. So I think she has like 50 made. And then my Rachel Alexandra is like 25 made. But I really like the gloss on this particular model. I think that's super pretty. Moving over, we have the donkeys. And I'm sure my mom is still on the lookout for like Oliver. Uh, the other donkey that she really wants, but she super duper likes this donkey mold, the Brady mold, and she waited like hours in line for Tennessee Titan. That was Briarfest 2013. I remember like waiting outside the special run line and like, where is she? Where is she? Did she get her donkey? And she waving the donkey in the in, like at the cash register. <laughs> Next we have a horse from the first Briarfest we ever went to, which was Briarfest 2010, and that's Tinseltown. And both of us really like the Lonesome Glory mold, but there's not a whole lot of colors on it like that are actually pleasing. And this, to me, this is one of them. Um, he has really nice light bars and just, just super cute face, like that broken stripe just adds a little bit of personality. And it's such a light, like a buttermilk sort of done that's just very pretty on this mold. And we have a Nikoda, who was a nightmare to pack. And this is Bats in the Belfry, and he was a Halloween horse um, from a couple of years ago based on one of the original Halloween horses, Nosferatu. Really pretty Nikoda, but just, a, you know, takes up a lot of shelf space and then a lot of space in the suitcase, so he doesn't go out that often. Plus, a lot of shows actually don't have, like, decorator classes around here, so we just don't get to take them out. Um, some of you guys, if you've been following us for a while, will remember um, back at Briarfest 2016, we had Cowboy Austin travel to Briarfest with us. And this was Cowboy Austin's faithful mount um, nugget. <laughs> he was never, this one was never actually renamed. Um, this is one of Guy McLean's horses who we've seen um, at Briarfest, but of Source Fair, who's like an awesome, awesome horseman. He's super. He just seems super nice and super down to earth and we absolutely just love his horses. And so Nugget was never renamed, but Nugget is Cowboy Austin's um, <laughs> faithful mount, which we need to film Cowboy Austin. He did a photo shoot with Nugget at Briarfest a couple years ago and everybody loved it. It was a great time in, in the amateur performance class. Maybe if I could find some of those photos. I might let them resurface. <laughs> Moving on, I, my mom put her stones on 
more one end of the table more than the others. So this is Henry Jones, and this was a uh, Peter Stone dead body that we actually picked up a couple of years ago, and I decided I wanted to repaint it to a supple punch. Um, and my mom just absolutely fell in love with it, and I actually owed her money. So she, I, re, I repaid her by just giving her this horse. And he's still, he's an early custom of mine, but he, I think he still holds up. He's super cute. On to the two saddle breads. We have this one. Some of you guys might remember her from Country Fair last year. And this is She's Got Sass. And she is, in my opinion, the best customization of the stone saddle bread mold ever, just because she has the best face. I mean, literally. I look at this horse and part of me just wants to laugh because she has the absolute like best face. And then the other saddle bread here is the t-shirt model from last year's uh, Velocity. And all these were red jasper themed, so you can actually see like the veining and everything in them, which is really cool. And his name is Sequoia. Um, all the t-shirt models are one of a kind, and I actually have one in my collection from two years ago who's just like a solid gold with some pinto markings, and that was when it was like the fairy tale year. And this guy was from the America the Beautiful year. Another horse from Equilocity 2017 was Mac and Cheese, and this was one that we saw on actually the Facebook page, I believe, at first, and he was just way, way out of price range. And after Equilocity, some of my horses won some stone bucks, and there was nothing that I wanted, so I was like, well, go get, go get your horse. You know, so this guy actually ended up coming home with us, and he's a really pretty uh, Palomino Roan by Shelby, and my mom has a couple horses painted by Shelby that she absolutely loves. And this is one of them. What's his name? His name is He's a Good Noodle. He's the best noodle. So we have like, She's a Maniac, and then we have He's a Good Noodle. And another, I always joke that you have like an ish problem, but you only have two ishes, whereas like, I also have two wishes, so whoever breaks this tie is gonna have an ish problem. Um, but this is from, this guy is from Briarfest, not Briar, Equilocity. Um, they occur at the same time, excuse me. Uh, Equilocity 2016, the fairy tale year, and this was um, Gingerbread Man. So his name was then Snap Decision because that's literally what happened. It was a snap decision to get this horse. And he does really well in like collectability classes. And he's actually done um, a lot better in breed classes lately than he did at first. So we, we had to make sure that we documented this champagne color just because it isn't found all that often in horses. It's, it is a super pretty color, but it definitely needs its documentation. So this is one that we absolutely have to have documentation with at every show. Stop. Like me. This is why I'm not supposed to be doing this. This is why it's you. Here we have Mr. Wonderful, who is a designer horse from 2016. They write on the bellies, so I don't have to remember everything. And this is one that I had actually designed and gotten from my mom for Christmas. And it didn't actually show up on Christmas. It showed up like two months later, the day before we went to a show. Um, which actually we were, I think we were already on our way to the show when the package showed up. So we didn't get to actually unbox him until we got home. But he's just a sooty Palomino. He had the holiday blaze for that year. And then he's also got like some like kissy marks on his nose as well that went with the blaze. This guy was also kind of a, <laughs> a snap decision purchase and I believe you picked this guy up at um were we there for any specific yeah okay it was when I got Vampira um so it would have been the little horse show at the stone factory or in, in October and this is Ashby and we've tried to we've kind of like trying to bit trying to figure out what breed to show this guy as just because he has such an interesting gray color with like these pretty blue eyes and I haven't quite found the right thing yet. We're working on it. We've got like a Welsh cross or like 
um, something that has like a homozygous trait to it so it can have the blue eyes, but he's a super pretty boy. And I love the pony mold. I have one that's braided. And I really wish that I could like find a different one. This is another one that's painted by Shelby from the Stone Factory. And this is My Dilemma. And this was a Meadows Horse Fair purchase from last year. And I had just recently, around the same time, um, dyed my hair red for the first time. Spoilers, this isn't natural. <laughs> but this is a horse that my mom had picked up in the Meadows Horse Fair that we were just about to leave. And I saw this little thing on the table and I was like, oh, look at that, like, look at it. It's really cute. It's got a nice little dorsal stripe. Look at her little, like, leggies, you know? And I pick her up and her name was Emma and I was like, oh, his name was Emma. And then my mom just kind of went, oh, her name was Emma. So then we just, you know, just decided we were going to take it with us. So that's really, the, that's the story behind that one. But then we just figured out that my mom also has, a, has an addiction to horses that Shelby paints. So hopefully Shelby's back to painting soon. It was her birthday today, actually, <laughs> as we're filming this. And then the other, the, the other little stone that's here that I can't reach. <laughs> reach him. Reach him for me with your Let camera. Let's talk about him. I'm reaching him with um, the camera. That was the, one of the um, uh, Equilocity 2017 dinner chips. Um, and this was the um, Appaloosa on like the stock horse chip mold. And I think his name ended up being, Brewster. this is, yeah, this is Brewster. Um, so in our little series of uh, you know, the mule being goose and the pig, you know, the pony being pig. This is our chicken. The stone stock appy is our chicken in that little series. And if you guys have seen my collection before, you've probably already seen that maybe. But here we have all of my mom's collection so far, uh, not counting anything that she may pick up at Country Fair or at Velocity this year, or even some of the briars that are just coming in recently. Um, we don't know if any other like web specials or anything are gonna show up, but yeah, here's her collection. So there you guys have it. There's my mom's collection tour video for 2018. Um, hopefully we'll do just like an in general loop tour after Briarfest slash Equilocity this summer um, because I have a feeling I'm going to be coming home with some really cool horses from the Stone Factory. Um, this is probably one of the last videos you're going to actually see of me uh, being like recent on the channel um, as this is like right before I head down to Indiana. Um, but this was my mother's collection tour and if you guys liked the video give it a like maybe tell us what your favorite horse was down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more model horse related content from us see you see you in the next video pony pals bye for 2017, 2018. Heck, <laughs> start over again. Yeah.